Hi everyone, this is Vijay, your host for this particular session. So today we are going to talk about that, how we can enable that DDoS protection uh, on the Palo Alto to protect your uh, DMZ infrastructure. Okay, so our requirement is to create the DDoS policies profile, then uh, there are uh, multiple zones available in my firewalls to protect the uh, DMZ zone uh, for the TCP against the TCP flip. So that's offending, uh, offending the traffic should be triggered the DDoS alert. After exceeding that uh, connection, if the connection is exceeding more than 30, uh, 30 sessions, 30 packet per sessions, uh, it's going to give it this alarm. It should be, uh, uh, pack, it should be start dropping the packet when it reaches to the uh, 500 connections. And uh, all the traffic should be dropped after the uh, uh, reaching the 1000 uh, uh, connections. So entire traffic from the particular source interface should be dropped for all kind of traffic, whether it's uh, TCP, UDP, all the traffic will be dropped. Okay, so and traffic uh, uh, from the offending address should be blocked for 10 minutes. Okay, and the limit number of the concurrent session should be 1250. And enable, we are going to enable this particular uh, protection on the, our outside interface and to this particular server, which is listening the RTCP port uh, 80 and uh, port 43. So this is the topology I have. In this particular topology, this is the internet. So if you see that R9, R8, and R7 is my internet traffic, and the switch one is my uh, DMG uh, network, which is hosting all kind of uh, uh, host connecting to it. Okay, so our goal is to protect the, any kind of traffic coming from R7 to switch one should coming from outside interface to DMG interface should be uh, should be having the DDoS protection profile and policy for this particular one source. Okay, so if I already have the Palo Alto uh, up and running, I have already had the switch is up and running for me. So if I go here, if I open the switch, If I guess over on, show them. So all the configuration is already done for the switch and the, for the all the uh, routing and SBI, everything is created. So you can see that I have a one VLAN, which is 57 VLAN, and already have the uh, static route towards the uh, Palo Alto, and this is the HTTP, HTTPS already have enabled of that. Okay, so this is my contribution on the uh, particular suit. If I go to the uh, router, if I go to the router, so run. This is uh, Zoom as an internet router. So I already have that all these address connecting to the firewalls and uh, this is, this, is, this is all kind of sort of uh, OSPF we have towards the Apollo Alto firewalls here. Okay. And also we have some uh, HTTP and HTTPS disabled configuration. I have static routing here. So all sort of configuration is there. So now if I go to the uh, Apollo Alto firewall, which is which has management IP address of 192.168.122.161. So if I open this, accept a risk. So this is the one. So I have admin, then default, uh, what's the password? Default uh, uh, 1A exclamation, 1A exclamation. Okay, so if I see, default 1A exclamation. Uh, or I can copy from here for some time. If I say default one A exclamation. Okay. So I have the Palo Alto login. So I already have the, all the routings, all this configuration on the Palo Alto routing policies, everything is configured. I just need to 
uh, enable that communication uh, protection, DDoS protection between the source and destination. Okay. So if I go to the object, in the object, you will see that left side options, you will see that DDoS, DOS protection, right? So if I go ahead and add the DOS protection here, I will say that the DOS for switch one. This is profile. Okay. Then I will go to the aggregator, not to the classification classified. Then I will go, go to the sync uh, TCP synchronizations. You will see that our requirement is to enable that DDoS protection for TCP flood. Okay. So if I go to TCP flood here, then I will not select the action. Action I'm going to say that uh, random early draw. That should be okay. Or you can do the cookies also. Then I will say that alarming should be in 300 connections. Okay. And the packet drop should start, session drop should be start for the uh, new connection after reaching to the 500 connection. Then entire connection should be dropped after reaching to the 1,000 uh, packets. So I will say that 500. Then I will say that 1,000. Then I will say that duration, what should be the duration for my DDoS protection? It should be 10 minutes, right? Yeah. Traffic from the offending address should be blocked for 10 minutes. So I would say that uh, based on your uh, company policy, you should keeping that. Uh, otherwise, by default, I'm going to select here is uh, 600. By default, if you want to use the default timer, it, it is 300, uh, 300, which is around uh, five minutes. I'm going to say that 10 minutes here. I do not have a UDP protection, ICMP, uh, or other things, right? Only TCP protection I'm going to enable here for now. I will say, okay. Then I will say, commit this. Okay. Once your configuration is commit, you you can just enable this. Uh, you can map this profile into the uh, policies. Okay. So if I go here. Meanwhile, is there? I'm going to say the policy under the policy. I will map this profile in the for the interfaces. Okay, so here I'm going to do this mapping for the interfaces, which is this one. Okay, so what I will do here is I will go to add under the S section. I will say that. Add protection. I will say that the DOS for three to one. Okay. Then I will go to the source. In the source, I will select that not zone based. If you want to enable for entire zone outside, inside, definitely you can add that. For example, for entire uh, traffic, you want to enable it, you can definitely enable it. But for my case, I want to enable for particular interface from the source, which is one slash two on the uh, firewall. And one slash three the destination, right? Source is this one, destination is this one. So if I go here, source is this one from any source. Okay, I'm not going to specify any source. Uh, I'm not going to specify any uh, particular source. I'm saying that from any interface, from this interface, from any address, if anyone wants to reach to this particular interface, I would say that one slash three. Then I will say that not any address, but to a specific address. I would say that. 192.168, what was the IP? Uh, 192.168, 57.31, okay? I will say that 57.31, okay? Then I will say that protection option. So I will say that not any services. I'm going to add HTTP and HTTPS here. Okay, you can uh, select that services or you else you can if you do not have services, you can just uh, create that services from here. Okay, you can search that any services, for example, TCP you want to enable it, right? You can search from TCP or you can create that service group here. Then I will say that action should be protection, not allowed deny, and my classic 
file information profiling will be DDoS protection, which I think is not been created. Let me create from here. Profile. So it's one. Okay. But you can save that probably. I would say that 600 minutes. Okay, then I will say for destination IP address only. Okay, not for both. Then save this. Once you save this, you just have to commit this configuration. Okay, once you commit the configuration, all the configuration, commit all the changes. You need to do that. Commit that. Once you commit that, entire configuration will be pushed and you will be able to check that all the protection policies on the configuration from the, either you can check from CLI or from the UI interface. This is the console of the uh, Palo Alto node. And it will take time, yeah. This is I wanted to uh, uh, show you guys. And this uh, task has been done. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in next session.